What's good, Spidey Gang? MJ here, and today we're gonna be watching 12 Years a Slave. Now, the first time I've heard of this movie, it was in a very, very detrimental time in my life. Like I said, I'm always honest with you guys, and I'm gonna be straightforward here. I was not always in the right headspace when it came to racism and things like that. Um, the way I was raised, I was raised to believe that I was black. So, <laughs> not that that's funny, but it's just like, I was at a point in my life, I guess me trying to figure out my spot in this world, and I hated my my family for making me believe that it was okay the way I was acting. Not that I was racist. I was never racist. That's not what I'm trying to say. This is coming out way, like this is coming out really bad. <laughs> I was never racist, but my mother raised me to believe that it was okay to say the N-word in a friendly manner. It was never, you know, anything bad, but I said it as if I was a black person, basically. At this point, when my history teacher had showed us this movie in class, I was in my freshman to sophomore year of high school, somewhere around there. I was just starting to realize that that's not who I was and I didn't want to be that person. So it's kind of when my life shifted a little bit. Um, I started acting different. Trust me, you guys think I'm bad now. A lot of you like to say I'm ghetto now. Trust me, you did not want to see me before. <laughs> I was horrible. So yeah, I, I definitely, I grew as a person at this point when I had first seen this movie. And this movie was, it was a lot. And I really didn't want to watch it again because I didn't want to feel everything I felt again. But we're back here and I'm going to be watching it again. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, the feelings I'm going to feel is not going to be nice feelings. <laughs> but I'm still going to enjoy it because it is an amazing movie. And I mean like Oscar winning movie, like <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and I know you guys will probably end up enjoying it as well. So if you do, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Liking the video really does help me get my channel pushed across the platform and subscribing is just because you enjoy me, you enjoy my content. That's it, you enjoy it. <laughs> Also, if you want to see my full reaction to this movie and every other movie and show on my channel as well as get them early, go ahead and click that Patreon link down in the description below. Full movie, music, and show reactions are there. Again, not to sound like a broken record here, but if you want to be able to request movies here in the comments, I have activated YouTube memberships. You guys can become members. Just go to my channel, click join. That's it. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the movie. Now, I don't think I remember like the first half of this because I'm pretty sure I was like on my phone and then my teacher took it away. <laughs> I'll probably visually like in the moment, I'll remember parts of it, but I definitely don't remember the first half. Yeah, this film is based on a true story. I knew that it was it was based on a memoir by a slave. I don't remember what year, but I remember that. Throw it on a pile for the planting game. Cain ain't gonna jump up and bite you. Don't shy back. See, in my head, I felt like, I don't know why, but in my head, I always felt like slavery was so much worse. Like there is a lot of brutal things about slavery. Don't get me wrong. I'm not making no excuse about that before you guys try to twist my words on me here. But right there, look how nice he was just by telling them what to do. He could have beat the crap out of them and said, if you don't do it right, you're dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, my Lord. And then he lets them sing too, look at him. I don't even like he doing it right. <laughs> this is Russian. This is the worst part too. Look at how they have to sleep. This has to be uncomfortable. Just their lives were so crappy, but they obviously probably knew their lives were crappy, but they settled for it. So sad. Just getting beat every day, eating scraps and... and... He used the berries and carved the ink shaped pen so he could write. This man's a genius. He's a genius. See, then slaves were supposed to be dumb and all that stuff. Nah, man, they were smart. And this also means he knew how to read and write, which a lot of slaves could not relate back then. So he actually was pretty smart. Y'all see that person behind him? That's kind of creepy. Looking at me like that. That's a woman? Damn, you're a little aggressive with me. 
Maybe she ain't felt no touch in a minute. She's just trying to get it on. Maybe they both ain't felt no touch in a minute because he's just letting her get it on screwed, I guess. <laughs> I always feel so awkward in scenes like this. Y'all be making fun of me because I always feel awkward in like sex scenes and stuff, but it's like, why do I have to watch this? It's like, not just, not, not in this movie, in any movie, like. <laughs> and now she's crying? I'm so lost. Like, what did you want? What did you want from me? I gave you what you want. I was like, that was a little tight. He must no, he's trying to get a high tune or pop it at this point. Ah, uh, it's a violin. Oh, look, I was in an orchestra. I played the trumpet. <laughs> I don't know nothing about chords. That's low key hit a little bit. <laughs> So he used to play violin in his old life and had two kids. Oh, wow. This man had a whole life before this. I'll take this. No. It is the custom. I wonder what you'll do without me. I won't stay idle. No. Be good. So that's his wife and his kids. Ready? I'm guessing this is the last day he saw them. If this is such a fresh memory for him, it's probably the last time he saw them. 1841? Golly! Why don't you describe the town to the merry band? It is a spectacle unlike most have ever witnessed. Hmm, I wouldn't believe them. I mean, they seem, they seem genuine and excited about it, but the only reason I wouldn't believe them is because I'm so content at where I'm at. Why would I want anything else, you know? We could give you one dollar for each day services and three dollars for every night plated out performances. Holy. I mean, that that's a lot of money back then, so a dollar a day or three dollars a night? Like, you can make real bank. About as far more as my wages amount to. It's been the most profitable week. Cheers. Cheers. We are comfortable with they are with each other, though. It's extraordinary. And your talents are undeniable. Mm. To Solomon. Cheers. Were they trying to make him drink a lot? See, I, I just, I, I just felt something was off about them. I don't, I don't like that. Wow. Bro was just happy, drinking wine, just said goodbye to his family for a little bit, and then just woke up chained. God, that's gotta feel horrible. I mean, he's lost, obviously, but. I must hurry. <laughs> Halfway there. Mm -mm. As well and refreshed as if the earth were new again. There's nothing more we can do for him. Such is the pity. Maybe they actually did turn him in. Like, maybe they got some real money for him, but. Maybe that guy genuinely felt bad, though. I promise you, upon my liberation, I will have satisfaction for this wrong. Produce your papers. Mm -mm. You're no free man. Not anymore, obviously. You got him chained up. You're just a runaway from Georgia. Mm -mm. Uh-uh, I can't watch this. No, I'm sorry. Mm-mm. Man, just hearing the sound was, was giving me, like, I feel like throwing up. We're only like 10 minutes into this movie right now. I feel so sick. Ah! 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 This is just not fair. This is not okay. This man was just taken from his home, from his family, from his dream. This is so nasty. And again, mind you, this is an actual slave story. Someone wrote this. Washington, D.C. That's where he's at right now. So he's still in the same spot. You need something proper to wear. Go on, put it on. Damn. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's from my wife. Well, rags and tatters. Rags and tatters. Mm-mm. Go on, wash up. I was about to say, don't feel, don't feel no shame, because, like, <laughs> they all here doing it. Hush him up. Mama! Your mother will come, I swear she will, but you must be silent. 
I don't know how actors are like I know this is just me, but I don't know how actors are so like comfortable with being butt naked. Counting the money paid for delivering you to they this place. They were not kidnappers. They were artists, fellow performers. You know that? Yeah, you don't know that for a fact. I'm sorry. Mama, Brian. <laughs> mama. Oh wow! So his mama did come for him. Did he just lock her in there? Get up! No, no, don't. No, I don't want to hear you talk. Get in the yard. No. Yeah, I knew it. Me for all that. Just taking a little trip. That's all. I knew it, man. They locked her in there. Mm-mm. I don't want to hear a word out of none of you. Not a one. Oh Lord, man. This this is so sad. This lady came for her children and and had to stay. <laughs> Follow your mom. Come on, boy. Come on. Up these stairs. Out of that wagon. Come on. Mm -mm. I don't know how this is even like, I mean, I can't say how is this allowed because technically back then when the Southern states still had slaves, but the Northerns didn't, it's like, what, what can you do? <laughs> they had to pass laws and obviously they didn't do that until later on. So they are just kidnapping and transporting people in broad daylight. Like that is not okay. Ma'am, you working for them? You okay with that? Uh-uh. Children on the boat and you're okay with this? Man, I don't know. I, I guess I'm a different kind of person. I couldn't just I couldn't I couldn't just stand by and watch this happen. I'm sorry. No one who you really are and tell no one you can read and write. Unless you want to be a dead nigga. Sure, I suggest you listen to him. What the heck? Now keep your mouth shut. I say we fight. He just told you keep your mouth shut. The first thing you do is say fight. They got no stomach for a fight. Not a damn one. Oh, I know. Unfortunately, he's right though. They they kind of just accept their position. Survival's not about certain death. It's about keeping your head down. Days ago, I was with my family. It's like you got two. They got the devil and the angel in his ear. You're gonna die listening to the other guy. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to live. True that. So they're actually going to fight? I, I don't think that. I mean, I don't 100% agree with the guy when he says keep his head down. But at the same time, I don't know. At the same time, I, I don't think a fight is, is worth it. Now you're going to take the girl. Oh, he already knew. Ah! He already knew. Stabbed him so fast, it's not even funny. Don't touch me on the shoulder. I already know what you are. Better off. Better than us. Wow, better than us. I mean, at this point, I guess it is just one man for himself, so. In this, this situation, at least. He shouldn't even be in this damn situation. He was just trying to play the damn violin. It's all that businessman's fault. Turn that property immediately, I'll be charged with thievery. Free him! Dang, so his master did come and get him. Aw, he got a nice enough master. And uh, it's all meant for himself. Kill us! Kill us! You, you need to learn you can't depend on nobody in this, man. It's all you all by yourself. All these men just discouraged. They don't even try fighting no more, man. It's so sad. They got most of those wounds from trying to fight, so they gave up. What is the point? They don't got nothing. The year has passed already. Off to work at Sandy Hill again. I am. I have just the thing. Aww. We could discuss the price. Oh, forgive me, Solomon. Forgive me, Mrs. North. The customer waits. Welcome. Wow, really? <laughs> My regrets for the intrusion, sir. No intrusion. Good day, sir. Ah. Uh, what was that about? Why did they look at each other like they know each other or something? What? Stand up. You fit the description given. Why didn't you answer when called? His name's not Platt. Your name is Platt. Captain, get this 
of my car. Hey man, what did he say? Don't tell people who you really are. Don't, don't, don't try to fight. There's no point. They just gave you a whole new identity so nobody figured out who you were. <laughs> like a fine lady's maid. Inspect at your leisure. Take your time. Help yourself to refreshments. Gentlemen, catches your fancy here. Wow. This is, they're literally like animals, like selling. Like, this is so sad. Uh-uh. Price for the boy. The boy. We'll give you something to cry about. Randall, come forward. Come, 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 come. Oh, Lord. Jump, 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 run, run, run. Very good. Wow. Is they're literally like circus animals. Like they're they're treating them like selling pigs or something. No, no, no. I cannot sell the girl. Oops. And piles of money to be made from her. She's a beauty, one of the regular bloods. Wow. No, no, no. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? You know how to play? <laughs> This is so sad. Pleasure. That's ridiculous. You could have at least given him the girl. Like, come on, it's not that serious. And then he said she's a pure blood, most likely because she's mixed. So he was gonna try to keep her. Something to eat and some rest. Your children will soon be forgotten. Our children will not be forgotten. That's the sad part. Y'all, if y'all were in that situation, y'all would, would hate the world, right? Y'all would, would, would hate everyone, but, but because they were sold to you, you'll forget about them. That's ridiculous. Uh, this is the guy that played uh, the Riddler? I think so. And then obviously Doctor Strange, but uh, he was a Doctor Strange at that point. Is the overseer on this plantation. You two will refer to him as master. Everyone's master. Run, run, the patty will look at you. Run, run, well, you better get away. Mm -mm. One had a rope, it was hung around his neck. Run. The paddy roller kitchen. A lot of peop people believe that there's still modern slavery, um, not in this form, obviously, but just imagining how they must have felt back then, I don't think it's possible. I, I don't think there's a way to match this kind of disrespect and, and they're degrading them for being a different skin color. Like, it's just sad, man. It's disgusting. Oh, what happened? Are they all stopping their tracks like that? Huh? So they just stopped and just celebrated with them. Just screw it. Hey man, they enjoying themselves. Can you be mad at them? <laughs> There's a stick in a pipe, but they enjoying themselves. This man just took a poop. I reckon I'm more than 12 feet at their most narrow. Wide enough for a tub to traverse if a team of Oh, wow. And ended into contracts for the transportation of large rafts of timber from Lake Champlain to Troy. He is not impressed. Well, I'll admit to being impressed even if you won't. Right. <laughs> He's impressed. Collect a team and see what good you can do. Shoot. I mean, again, I don't think he should be showing his intelligence. I feel like he should be laying low like the guy said. But this could also favor him in some kind of way. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Master Ford. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's definitely the, the most advanced of the group, but we knew that already. They took him away from his home. Look it. This guy just don't want to accept it. <laughs> Maybe he's just smarter than you. And it is the least of it. I hope it brings us both much joy over the years. Yeah, that guy's gonna break that any any chance he gets to play it. You're gonna see him playing and just break it instantly. It, it feels like I can't tell if this guy's the he must just be the owner of the plantain and then the other two are the ones, you know, telling them what to do and how to work and stuff. Seems the owner is a lot more he has more feelings <laughs> than the people who sit here and watch them work all day. Master Ford is a decent man. He is a slaver. Under the circumstances. Under the circumstances, he's a slaver. I mean, I get that, but you sitting here crying and 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 right, you sitting here crying all day along, like it's not gonna help anything dishonorable things to survive and for all of them i have ended up here no better than if i stood up for myself i get what she's saying but you can't sit here and, and be angry at him for the way he's trying to survive when all he's telling you is crying is not going to solve anything all you're doing is sitting here crying all day you know like i get it. he misses his children too i get it but you just can't sit here and cry all day it's a waste of time I can't have that kind me. of depression about. But whoso shall offend one Yeah, they're getting tired, do you see? Should just be quiet. He would drown in the depth of the sea. 
I mean, you can cry silently too. Why do you have to cry so loud? I see differently, but the hands are not mistaken. Simply ask that you use all your senses before rendering judgment. Don't, don't disrespect them. You'll procure a keg of nails from Chapin and commence to putting on clapboards. Yes, sir. The thing is, he's still trying to obey, but he knows better and, and he doesn't, he's not going to accept being wrong because he's not wrong, obviously. But what can he do? Solomon! 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 <sighs> he tried to help you. Um, like, I get it. He tried to help you and you sat here and told him to his face that, that he is wrong and he is, he is nothing but an animal. She gained power in the household and eventually I was brought to the city under the false pretense of our free papers being executed. Wow, she was a free woman. Even sleeping with her master, having a kid by him. And they still took away her freedom. Like, there's, there's no winning. No matter who you are, no matter what you are, if they find you out there, they will try to take you. It's just so sad to think that severe cases of racism still exist to this day. Like, it's it's nasty, it's sad, it's degrading. Don't you know something? I did as instructed. If there's something wrong, it's wrong with the instruction. Ooh. Goddamn. Black bastard. Yeah, he's not gonna let that slide. To see another day! Oh, oh no, no, no! Oh, I mean, I get it. He has to take his frustration out, but come on, you know you're gonna get in trouble for this. Now you know how it feels. Do not leave the plantation, for if you run, I cannot protect you. Stay here. Shoot, at, look. <laughs> at least the other master's protecting him. Like that's all you can really ask for. He's doing as instructed. He's doing what he's supposed to, and bro was gonna whoop him for no reason. This movie is leaving such a nasty feeling in my throat right now, like... Golly. Like, he did what he was supposed to do. The blood is mine and mine to do with us, I please. You touch. Oh, he gonna kill him? He do not care. He don't want to hear that. You do not own him. That's you. Get Master Ford. Wow. Made him hang there all day. See, here comes these nasty feelings again that I do not like. This is so nasty. This man did as he was told and still had to pay the price for it. Like... And look at them. None of them went out of their way to try and help him. This is how you know that you're literally just in it by yourself. Like, no one will save you. This is so sad. I'm pretty sure he can still die like this from lack of oxygen. And then if the mud keeps going down, because it's clearly wet, if he keeps going down, he's not going to be able to... There we go. Someone help him. At least he ain't saying nothing to her helping him, though. I feel like that guy is, he's their master, but it seems like they're a lot more lenient because if, if he wasn't around, the other guy was the, you know, leader of the plantain, it would have been a hell of a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. He would have been, obviously, hung and everything. Like, I guess this is just kind of, um, they're trying to make him pay for obviously what he did because he had no right to do that to the guy. Um, but the guy also had no right to, you know, do what he did to him. So I guess that's why they don't, um, not cut him down yet. <laughs> Look at how, like, you seen how upset he was when Master 4 came in there. He, he came in, in such a fast motion. Look at, look at how flustered and upset he is. Even though he's still, like the girl said, he's still a slaveholder. He still owns slaves. He's showing some kind of remorse. And I, I think that's worth something. Transfer my debt to Edwin Epps. He will take charge. Gotta get off my property. Why don't you close the door? 
before I came to you, I was a free man trying to save your life. I have a debt to be mindful of. I will just leave it be. Yeah, I will just leave it be. It's no point. You are an exceptional player. I fear no good will come of it. Yeah, unfortunately. No one is going to accept it because even if you're exceptional, you're still a slave in their eyes. But like I said, I think I think it's worth at least a, an ounce of, of hope that the slave owner is somewhat remorseful for him, you know? Not saying that that does an excuse. Again, he's still a slave owner, but... Prepared, not himself, neither did according to his will. That's the lady from uh, American Horror Story. That's his master, do you see? That then shall be beaten many stripes. I hope he's not reading from the Bible because that, that, that is so, that is a sick way to twist that. That's scripture. Mm -mm. Are you kidding me? Oh, she's in this too. I love her. I don't remember her name. Dang it. What's her name? Lupita. There we go. Lupita. I love her. I love her. Not only is she fine, but she's an amazing actress. Like, Move it on, huh? I heard that you can cut yourself quite a lot from picking cotton. I think that's what I heard. I don't. I don't know. Obviously, I've never picked cotton, but I heard that it can be quite painful. It's real good, boy. It's real good. One hundred eighty-two for Platt. Ooh. Five hundred and twelve pounds for Patsy. Five hundred. Damn, Patsy. Queen of the field, she is. One hundred thirty-eight pounds. I ain't done, Treach. Yeah, she just accepted it. And work, Patsy done. Patsy did an amazing job, but born bred to the field. Mm -mm. He clearly viewing her in a different kind of light, if you know what I'm saying. And it was so normal for masters to sleep with their slaves too. Like that's so nasty. All be observant to that. They didn't even have a choice. Two hundred six pounds for George. How much you picked yesterday? Two twenty nine. Get him out. Dang. So you gotta pick more than you picked the day before. Come on, boy, move. I mean, he, he picked too little shoe. They're so nonchalant. Look at how much they accept it. Like. Seems like this girl has also just accepted her circumstances. She knows that if she does good, that she'll be able to be fine, you know, just live. That must be his wife. She probably doesn't like that slave because he's going to turn into some kind of mistress or something. It, that's what it seems like. I mean, he's, he's very physical with her already, complimenting her a lot. It could be cause, just because she does good work, but I don't think so. Come on! Mm -mm. Why are we making them dance? Or I'll take myself back. Yeah, she's jealous. She is so jealous, and it's sad. Because I will rid myself of you well before I do away with her. Oh. Ugh, that's that's kind of messed up a little bit, but I mean. Dance. Dance is it. She is so jealous of that woman for no reason, because he don't even want nothing with her. He just want to screw her, to be honest, like, at the most. I can't believe she threw a whole bottle at her head and it didn't even break. That thick ass glass. <laughs> Jeez. Tell Bartholomew to add it to our debt. Yes, miss. Where are you from, Platt? Georgia. But I've no understanding of the written text. Don't trouble yourself with it. Same as the rest. Master bought you here to work, that's all. Yeah. See? It's a good thing you said that you didn't know how to read, because like that dude said, you know how to read and write, you're a dead man. They don't want no educated slave. They want someone dumb enough to be controlled. That's so sad. Like I said, treating them like animals, that's literally all they're doing. Like they're dogs. Like they're supposed to be trained and 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 I don't know. Don't try to run, bro. It's no point. It's no point in trying to run. Where are you going? Come here, boy. See, that's why it's no point trying to run. They're around every corner. Bartholomew. Sent by Mistress Epps. You best get there, then. Get there, Queen. 
Yeah, you better run, bro. It ain't no it ain't no point in running. Trying to run away. Like they're on every corner. That's the point of the tag. Aww. Oh god. Any trouble? No trouble. It's just sad that they just had to accept their fate. Like I think even if he had a chance to run, I don't think he could outrun that life, if that makes sense. Once you're in that life for a while, it's it's hard to readjust to normal life. You have these scars, you have these these mental issues now, you know, and, and I don't know, I feel horrible. Would you know Master Epps' consternation to be any lesson with your time to return? I don't like that she's, hold on, I don't like that she's a black woman sitting here treating them the exact same way as the, I, I don't get that, why? What is the reason? Master Epps has somehow come to believe that Master Shaw is something of a Lothario. Hmm. If not born out of truth itself. Well, I meant no disrespect. He, she's married to a white man. Okay. I still don't like that, but I guess. <laughs> if that would keep me from cotton picking. That would it be small at reasonable price be paid for sure. I get it, but I still don't think it's okay. <laughs> Anything to survive, you know, but it just makes me uncomfortable seeing this. What'd you say to Pats? No words were spoken, none of consequence. You're a liar. You're a damn liar. He's drunk too. He gonna beat you. Mm-mm. Stay away from Pats, boy. <laughs> he fell on his butt in the mud. <laughs> My man is just drunk. Did he just stab himself? Well, I thought he stabbed. I thought he landed on the knife. I could see to you. In the name of Valor, I'll be master to his feet. He's still going to try to hit you. Yeah, I knew it. A filthy, godless heathen. My bed is too holy for you to share. Mm -mm. There's all the truth he got. Dead. That mistress really is defending him. I feel like she could tell that there's something about him that's not clicking right, you know? Like, he told Master Four that he's a free man. What if Master Four told her? That would be crazy. There he goes. Coming to get Patsy. This guy's a freaking creep. No wonder your wife don't love you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It always starts this way. Always. I can't watch this. She's just supposed to accept that, like. He's gonna try to take some of that paper, isn't he? He's been thinking about trying to take that paper this whole time. The fact he has to hide a piece of paper is insane to me. It's a blank piece of paper. Thank you, mistress. Thank, Thank you, mistress. mistress. Thank you, mistress. There'll be none for you, Patsy. <laughs> it was hot, hateful scorn. It filled that black face. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's true, but I, I do think she doesn't really have a choice that he wants her, you know? You want them black animals leave us gut like pigs in our own sleep? I mean, she's not wrong. They are filled with hate. You have them as slaves. I pray you'd at least be a credit to your own kind and beat every foul thought from them. Oh, and he's supposed to be a tough slave owner. Okay. Ah! Beat it from him! Did she just pinch her ear and she's crying like that? <laughs> she scratched her, her face with her nail. Eat. Feel yourselves. And then we dance. That's not even, that's, that's not even her fault. Again, I think she's kind of delusional because she's jealous that he wants the slave rather than her. But Patsy doesn't want him. <laughs> Patsy doesn't hate her. Obviously, they, she hates her because she's a slave, but she doesn't hate her in the sense of, of she wants him instead. She don't want him. I secret it from the mistress. Return it. It's yours, Platt. What is that? Bury me in a lonely place of dying. I thought on it long and hard. Mm-mm. She doesn't want to live this life, but I, I, don't, I think asking him to do it is just kind of, I don't think that, I mean, if you really don't want to do it, you know, unalive yourself. I wouldn't ask someone else to do it. God is merciful. Mm -mm. Give merciful acts. That's not a merciful act. You're asking him to kill you. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I know that she's, she's in a really crappy situation right now, but that is not fair. 
I'm sorry. If you don't got the strength to do it yourself, that means you don't really want to do it. That's all it means. You should not be requesting that of him because he doesn't even have the strength. Why would he want to kill you? He doesn't have the strength to do it. This close shot of these caterpillars is crazy. It's a plague. It's damn biblical. Seasons, God done sent a plate to smite me. Caterpillars eating his cotton and he's mad. Damn you! Damn you! Damn all y'all! So now he's blaming them because his cotton is getting eaten? <laughs> what? This man done been moved around so much, he is sick of it. Can I just stay in one plantation? Don't bring no disrespect to me. Don't bring no biblical plagues to him, you hear? I'll take it out of your skin. Biblical plague. You think they brought him a biblical plague. Like, I just, how is that even possible? <laughs> okay, so flat, this is flash forwarding to uh, where we left off at the beginning when he flashed back. Like, every time I see this scene, this girl is so creepy. Like, why are you staring at me like that? Get off the porch. You ain't supposed to be on the porch. Get off the porch. What you talking to me like that for? He celebrates his anniversary in a three weeks time. Oh, hold out your name to him. What you earn is yours to keep. Well, that's nice. That's really nice of you. That's actually really nice of him. What he earns is his to keep? That That's, wow. Hopefully, if he puts his name to him and they take him, someone up there recognizes him. That would be really cool if someone recognizes him. You better not hope they figure out that you can read a white or right, boy, because uh, Tara not going to be so forgiven. He wrote them on the violin, so they're always with him. I don't know how it felt so normal. Like, how is it okay for them? I don't get it. I don't know. I, I I can't I can't really understand it, obviously, because one, I'm I'm Hispanic. So a lot of you the senior say, oh, you would be a slave owner back then. No, I literally wouldn't. I <laughs> I'm not white. I would, you know, I just don't think I could ever understand why they felt the way they did. You know, I I just I still don't understand how people can be racist now. Like, why? What what is what is the reason? I don't I don't get it. Cause I'm a different skin color? I don't <laughs> I don't understand. It's so stupid. Stupid to me. Joy us day. Dark times is behind us. Clean living and prayer. I know that ain't his kid. Please don't tell me that's his child. Not on my land. Much work to do. Days of old long since. Wow. Joy us indeed. Woo! Wow. Mm -hmm. Candy. Candy. Wow. Made her stay. Made her have a kid by him. And that kid don't even look mixed. So how is he going to protect her? God, son. Work this cotton. Oh, work this cotton. Is that a white man picking cotton? Platt. 160 pounds. Arms me. 64 pounds. Oh, 64 pounds? I'm sure in time he'll develop as a picker, but it takes effort, boy. Put some damn effort into it. Oh, uh, look at that. Because he ain't cause he ain't black, they're not going to take him out and whoop him. Are you kidding me? It's a tragedy. How does such come to pass? Why is he even here? Not, sir. Just Armsby. Not owed more than any other in the field. I would say they think because they're white, they owe you something. Such profitable outcomes are reserved for plantation masters. Mm-hmm. Now all I want... Is to earn a decent wage and get myself home. Okay, so he was a slave master. It took a toll on his head, took a toll on his mental, which I'm sure it, it, it should have. Now he's trying to make money, I guess. What is it you ask? First, your words, sir. On my honor. He wants his family. At the post office of Mark's feeling that you keep the action an inviolable secret forever. A patron is what I require, sir. He just wants communication with his family. Draw up your letter. We we'll meet again in two days. In two days. It would suck so bad if he leaves without waiting for that letter. Please be a kind soul. Please don't don't do him dirty. Please just do this thing for him. He gave you his money. Please. Don't let nobody catch you. 
Oh, Lord, please let this letter be taken. Like, please. He's going to beat the daylight out of him. I got to learn it. He writes letters. Tries to get white fellas to mail them. Are you kidding me? I want them to carry a letter. Markville. Wow, are you kidding me? He gave you all his money so you could be f uh, You people are cold. He wants to make you believe we're all gonna run away so you'll hire him as an overseer. He believes you're soft, so- True, his talking is low-key working though, like, he convincing him. Because he wants the situation. He's not wrong. He's still probably going to beat you, but I mean, at least you somewhat convinced him. He looks convinced to me. Were he not free and white, Platt? Were he not free and white? Wow, he was ready to kill him, too. He was ready to take his life. Mm-mm. Yeah, you can't trust no one. You gotta, you gotta stop thinking you can trust people. Like, I know you're just trying to find a way to survive, find a way out in any way possible, but the only way you're gonna do it is to depend on yourself. You can't depend on anybody else. Aww. He was just trying to get in contact with his family. Ain't no way that man just passed out. Maybe he did. This man died picking cotton. Oh, Lord. Where John baptized three. Where I walked the devil in hell. This lady can sing, though. My soul arise ever, Lord, for the year. I know this is a sad situation, but this song is really good. Like, their singing is good. You're probably thinking about singing right now. There we go. I think this right here, him singing along, is the final just acceptance that there's probably no way out of this. That's so sad. That's literally like the, the, the final acceptance stage. Him singing along with them and just like, I might as well just join. I'm never going to get out of here. I just want to say, is that Brad Pitt? <laughs> I had to look at the cast and I'm like, wait a second. What the heck is Brad Pitt doing in here? What amused me just then was your concern for my well-being in this heat. But not for all the other ones. It is horrid. The hell? It's all wrong. All wrong, Mr. Epps. Yeah, he don't like that. In my property. You say that with pride. I say it as fact. Mm-hmm. I bought them. I paid for them. You bought people? Suppose they pass a law taking away your liberty, making you a slave. That ain't a supposable case. Mm-hmm. Compare me to an ass? I'm only asking in the eyes of God, what is the difference? What is the difference? We're both human. What the difference is between a white man and a baboon? Mm-mm. And there will be a day of reckoning yet. True, he, sp he spoke it. He spoke it. Fine supposition if you lived among Yankees in New England. But you don't. Most assuredly do not. I think his point still stands, though. Just obviously it still stands, duh. But just uh, an outlook on it. You're sitting here caring about his well-being, but not all the other ones. Like, come on. I think this is a guy he can trust. Just off hearing it, I think he is one he can trust. Uh oh. Two kids is wild. My past is gone. Mm mm. Well, Patsy's finally gone after two kids from him. Oh no, she's not gone. What the heck? What I went to Charles for? Blind with your own covetousness. I don't lie, mess. All she wanted was soap. <laughs> <laughs> All she wanted was some dang so. You doing this to yourself, Pats? Even the one that he loves, he ain't even trying to beat. Give her the whip. Give it all to him. Platt, you come here and you beat her now. Platt! He don't got a choice, man. He don't have a choice. Strike her. Not, oh my God. Making them beat themselves is horrible. <laughs> he did not ask 
ass for this man. Like you have children from this woman and you just There is no sin. Man does how he pleases with his property. I'm of great pleasure. You be goddamn careful. I don't want to come lot my mood no further. All over some soap, man. I feel like it's a lot harder when you're not born a slave because you have these these glimpses of your past life just coming back to haunt you, and I feel like that's what's hap what's happening to him. I'm beseeching them to forward free papers. It would be an unspeakable happiness. Like he can't depend. Like he literally can't trust anyone. He's so afraid to trust in this guy. But he hears him speak of justice, and he's like, I mean, he has to help me, right? I need justice. Like, but he can't help all of them, though. I will write your letter, sir. And if it brings you your freedom, it will be more than a pleasure. It will have been my duty. Finally, someone who genuinely wants to help, though. He's gonna write him his letter, right? So, kind of deniable, he should be granted freedom. Now, again, this isn't gonna help all the other slaves, but, I mean, like he said, as long as he helps one, that, that's his duty, right? He's gonna come home a different man. Like, if they grant him freedom, he's gonna come home to his wife and kids a different man. <laughs> It looks like he's looking at me. I don't like that. What is he looking at? Who is that? Where's the ball called Pat? Come here, boy. Please be good news. Please. You know that man? Is that the same guy from that store that day? Mr. Ball. Mm-hmm. On your life, you answer me truthfully. Have you any other name than Platt? Solomon Northup is my name. Oh, wow. Ann Hampton, I am who I say. Where you going, Platt? With my property. My authority. Oh, well, it's not your property if he's a free man. <laughs> oh. Bottom of the Pay you him mean? no mind. I paid good money for this. Courthouse got papers to prove it. Mm mm. You belong to me. You hear me? Oh, I'm torn. He's just ready to go. He's ready to go. Get my horse, Reach. Oh, Patsy. Solomon, we need to make haste. Solomon. <laughs> oh, he's he's so sad he has to leave her behind. He's so he's so upset that he has to leave these people behind to suffer because he knows that even if he gets his freedom, they never will. Oh goodness. He knows he's never gonna trust nobody ever again. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm speechless, they're so big. Difficult time these past several years, Margaret. <laughs> oh my god, this is half this this has got to be such an overwhelming feeling. Is your grandson Solomon Northup Stone? Solomon. He's like, holy wait, my name is Solomon. There's It's not your fault, man. Having to adjust to that life again is gonna be so difficult. They're gonna see his scars. They're gonna be like, oh my God. <laughs> Solomon Northup was one of the few victims of kidnapping to regain freedom from slavery. Solomon brought the man responsible for his abduction to trial. Good shit, man, good shit. Unable to testify against whites in the nation's capital, he lost the case against the slave pen owner james birch wow wow after len lengthy legal proceedings in new york his kidnappers hamilton and brown also avoided persecution oh my god that sucks so bad are you kidding me in 1853 solomon published the book 12 years a slave he became active in the abolitionist movement lectured on slavery throughout the northeastern united states and aided fugitive fugitive slaves on the underground railroad wow 
The date, location, and circumstances of Solomon's death are unknown. Oh man, oh man, I still got tears in my eyes. <laughs> As I said before, this movie has always made me feel just so nasty inside. Like it's just like, it's a beautiful movie with a beautiful story that had a somewhat kind of happy ending. He got to be back with his family. It sucks that the people who did that to him could not be prosecuted, but I don't know. I, I really, I'm really speechless because like I said, this movie, even if it's beautiful, has wonderful acting. It's so sad. It's just so sad. Like I'm angry more than sad. Nonetheless, it still upsets me a lot. I know that this isn't happening anymore obviously but there's still modern racism there's still people out there who are okay with hating another person for the color of their skin for absolutely no reason um other than personal things i have a friend who is white who was raised racist her parents were racist and everything and now she is normal <laughs> i guess you could say she's she's happy you know, with any skin color. Just growing as a person is all you can ask for. If people hate you for the color of your skin, it's personal. It's something personal that happened to them. Someone of a different skin color treated them like crap. Someone ruined their life, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. It's always personal. There is no flat out, just straight up, I don't like you cause you're black. It's, there's no way. I don't like you because you're black and you cheated on my mom. It's always something that follows. They don't just hate you because of your skin color. I think if they do, it's disgusting, in my opinion. I, I, I'm disgusted with this movie. I'm just, I'm just, I'm angry. But nonetheless, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction as well. I expected to cry a lot more, but you know, twice is okay with me. <laughs> um, if you guys did end up enjoying it, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This has been MJ, and don't ask about Spider-Man. Peace.